when you hear the frogs croaking and the crickets chirping, you YouTube bras know what time it is. It's another late night vlog, vlog with the beast. Um, uh, let's see, kind of making this vlog as fast as I can, update you guys on what's going on. I'm currently just under two and a half and five and a half weeks out from my upcoming bodybuilding shows. Um, five and a half weeks out being the Muscle Mayhem, the show where I plan on coming in my best ever, uh, conditioning wise. Um, I trained back yesterday, that went really good. Uh, I've been trying to keep my strength, so uh, I set my goal of pulling 405 for 8 for as long as I can, continuing you know, to do it up until the muscle mayhem, and then from there on getting stronger because I'll be uh, reverse dieting or bulking, whatever you guys want to call it. So 405 for 8 went up again yesterday. Felt a little tougher than last week, but uh, that's uh, because A, I'm a little leaner, B, a little bit less body weight and uh, see just a little less energy each week um, and that's that's normal guys uh, even on a you know small calorie deficit like I am now and uh, doing you know moderate cardio um, that's just normal you it's normal to get tired normal to you know feel depleted and uh, you know lose a little strength um, it feels like if I just had more energy the weight would went up easier it's not like more like my strength and it seems like my intensity is going down a little bit too. Um, when I was pulling the 405, I can feel my hamstrings really getting tight, like to the point where something almost felt like it was gonna like rip a little bit. So I wasn't like ripping it off the ground with the kind of intensity that I'm used to using for deadlifts. So uh, I have to watch that very carefully next week. I might not even pull um, super, super heavy depending on how my warm-ups feel. I might just back off it for a week and then do a lot of uh, other hamstring, glute, posterior and chain, lower back work instead of uh, deadlifts and then come back the following week and deadlift. And uh, that's normal as well. Sometimes I'll take off a week from deadlifting just to uh, kind of get back in the groove. Sometimes when I deadlift, I just lose my groove from deadlifting too much or deadlifting once a week every week. And that's just me personally. Uh, same goes for my squat. I took last week off squat, so I'll be doing squat this week. And um, I'm not really worried about my strength going down from that because I just needed, it felt like I needed a break from squats. My hips were tight. And uh, I do a lot of mobility work, guys, and stretching, so don't worry about that. Take my creatines and multis to keep myself from whatever, getting jacked up. <laughs> take my fish oils. I take all that stuff. And uh, anyways, yeah. So uh, other news. Um, oh, I'll go a little bit into the other what I did for the other part of the back workout. After I did the 405, I did a down set, conventional style with 365 on a small deficit for a few reps. And then after that, I was done. I was toast for deadlifts. And then after that, I did uh, rows, kept it light, um, did a lot of time on attention, just did two sets with one plate on the bar. Then I did uh, pull-ups, wide grip, one wide grip set, one neutral grip set, then I did a chin-up set, and then I, uh, I did rows, dumbbell rows, just did two sets of that as well. Kept it fairly light and was just focusing on the squeeze, the stretch and the squeeze. And that was pretty much it, you know. Like I said in my earlier vlogs, uh, as, you know, the closer these competitions come up for bodybuilding, the lower volume I do uh, because I just don't have the energy to do that much volume and I don't really believe in doing a high volume workout, especially when you're on a calorie deficit. It doesn't really benefit you much. Uh, you're not gaining muscle at this point. You're just trying to preserve muscle. And I think overtraining is definitely a big key to keeping. Uh, not overtraining is a big key to keeping your muscle while cutting. So keeping the volume low. And uh, I took today off from training. Uh, you know, my body just felt brutally beat up from that uh, deadlift workout. So I took off today, just doing cardio. And um, yeah. Uh, let's see, my ma current macros, 
have been uh, the same. Uh, 40 grams of fat a day, 170 to 200 carbs depending on my training day, and uh, right around 215 grams of protein. But I might change that this weekend if my body weight doesn't uh, drop. I haven't lost any weight in the past five days. I've been hovering around 165 to 165.5, but I look more full. But I know to get leaner, I need to drop a few more pounds to really get in that peak conditioning. So I'll probably end up dropping my protein intake to around 200 uh, grams a day, 200, 205, and I'll probably drop my carb intake on to about 150 on non-training days and to about 170 training days. And I'm gonna keep my fat at 40 grams a day. I don't wanna lower my fat any lower than 40 grams a day, um, just to be safe. And uh, let's see, yeah, that's about it for the macros. I don't know what that is total calories wise. It's probably right around 2,000 calories. So, um, you know, not bad. Um, that or I'm going to up my cardio intake or I just might up my cardio intake a smidge and just play it day by day because uh, that's how I do it. I do it instinctively. No coaching. I get that question a lot. Do you have a coach seven? Nope. No coaching at all. I'm self-coached. I believe learning your body um, is probably the best uh, thing you can do. Um, maybe a coach would be better for a person who is a uh, not as advanced into lifting as me or competing. You guys gotta remember, I've been lifting for 10 years. Since 12 years old, I've been lifting weights consistently, consistently, like never taking off time, uh, unless I was sick, which would be like a week. Um, serious lifting, uh, training legs since 16. So, um, what is that, six years? Six, seven years of training legs and pretty much everything hardcore. So, you know, I know what I'm doing. Uh, multiple powerlifting meets, multiple powerlifting, you know, records, uh, you know, victories. I've done, I think, seven bodybuilding competitions, seven natural bodybuilding competitions in two years. Uh, so, you know, I kind of, you know, I've been learning along the way and uh, taking, you know, information from different sources, different people, you know, meeting a lot of people who have taught me things, you know, learned some s stuff from, you know, trial and error. And to be honest, I feel like that's the best way of doing it. Um, I don't really have the money to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a coach. And even if I did, I probably would not spend that money on a coach because I just don't think it's necessary for me personally. Um, on that note, uh, survived the tropical storm today. Uh, that's why the frogs are extra loud today, if you guys haven't noticed that. They're out by the storm. They came out in the millions and billions. <laughs> uh, you know, this was kind of a sissy-ass tropical storm, though, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we had about 40 to 50 mile power wind gusts, and uh, that's about it, really. My lake, my lake over here went up two feet. Uh, it didn't rain two feet, but it rained about a good foot. But the runoff uh, added another foot to that. And uh, yeah, so I survived the tropical storm. For all you guys wondering. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's about it. Tomorrow I'll probably train some shoulders. And then on Saturday or Sunday, I'll do some squats, some legs. And yeah, I also hung out with uh, my boy George Lehman. Getting a lot of questions on him since I posted that last video of him destroying 365 at my house. Uh, he went. He actually went to the gym today and did bench again. And I couldn't believe what he did. He did 495 close grip pause. Easy. Just insane for taking off almost a full month and um, you know losing a little bit of weight the past week. It's just insane how strong this guy is. Uh, after that, he just missed 515. And I'm pretty sure he would have got 515 on the bench if he didn't do a whole bunch of warm-ups and uh, heavy singles leading up to that 515. So he's pretty much at his all-time strongest on bench right now. As for his deadlift, uh, he hasn't been really training his deadlift lately, but that's how he normally does it, guys. He doesn't train deadlifts year-round. He kind of takes off a few months and then gets serious for a few months and then hits a PR 
So uh, that's just the way he trains, guys. As for as when the next time he's gonna start deadlifting training, when he's gonna start, you know, planning for an arm meet, I have no idea. Uh, so you guys can go ask that him yourself. Um, but yeah, so he's training. He's he's getting back into training now, though. He he took off a few weeks. Uh, let that big uh, body of his recuperate from all the crazy ass workouts he's done in the past. But yeah, he's doing good. Um, and uh, yeah, be on the lookout for more videos with me and him in the near future. And what else? I think that's it. Let's see how far we're in. Ten minutes into this vlog. Yeah, I should probably cut it there. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like this video. Go check out my Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash bodybuildingbeast. I would appreciate that. Uh, like the video, leave me a comment. Uh, question regarding to bodybuilding, fitness, dieting, whatever, powerlifting. I'll try to get back and answer it. Maybe make a, a video on that topic as well. And go check me out. Just made an Instagram. Instagram Beast Aesthetics. Go like the page, please. And that's about it. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all later. Adeuces.